Hi, this is Cycle 2, Week 8 Science, the Proportional Solar System. This is a demonstration that you need a large space. They recommend doing it outside. I definitely think if the weather is nice, that is a great way uh, to do this demonstration. This is a super cool demonstration because it helps the students begin to understand the vastness of outer space. And we're really going to look at it by looking at the confines of our solar system, which is just one small part of the universe that God has made. It's one small part uh, of outer space. This demonstration definitely requires some prep work as well as some um, supplies that you need. You will need a tape measure. I recommend at least a 25 foot tape measure. You will also need some objects to represent the different pieces of our solar system. The book talks about using a beach ball and a, a bead, golf balls, marbles, tennis balls, and soccer balls. I have done this demonstration that way and that works very well. Uh, our director, however, uh, purchased these inflatable beach balls that represent the solar system from the Oriental Trading Company. I understand that it was a little less than $20, well worth uh, the value uh, in, in my personal opinion. Um, in addition to that, for prep work, I think you should mark off the different um, spacing uh, of the various uh, parts of the solar system um, before the students come. Uh, if you, we may lose a beach ball here in a minute with some wind, that definitely can happen. That's happened. That happens with the golf balls and the tennis balls uh, as well. What, one way to is after you've set up this experiment to go back over it and help make it even more real for your students would be to assign each student to be one part of the solar system. And then depending on how many students you have and what the interest is uh, and the time, you might be able to do that a couple of different times. And you can talk about things like, okay, how close are you to the sun? How fast are you orbiting around the sun? Are you hot? Are you cold? How do you compare to Earth? You know, have the student who represents the planet Earth be the benchmark. Are you moving faster around the sun than Tommy who's representing Earth or not? Those are the kinds of questions that I think would be well worth the students thinking through um, and, and would be a way to help make um, this demonstration come alive. Having said that then, uh, in the Foundation's Guide, they, they give you a table that has the different pieces of the solar system and they tell you how far to measure them. So the sun is, of course, um, point zero. That's the reference point uh, that you start at. And then as we, let me move through quickly because it is in the Foundation's Guide, but Mercury is just a little bit, uh, Mercury over here, the smallest one, is just a little bit less than six inches away from the point that you've marked as the sun. Uh, Venus is a little bit less than 11 inches away. Earth is a little bit less than 15 inches away. Mars is a little bit more than 22 inches away. Jupiter is at 77 and three quarter inches away. Saturn is a whopping 142 and three quarter inches away from the sun. And so very, very quickly, then if we just stop here for just a second, it's worth emphasizing to your students that these four planets are, are rocky planets and they represent the inner planets of our solar system. They're separated from the outer planets by the asteroids. So here, as the, as the Foundation's Guide suggests, I'm using marbles to represent the asteroid belt. Because my sidewalk is slanted, I have a, a shooter holding at this line, and I've really just positioned those marbles in a crack. If you're on more of a flat surface, or if you're in the grass, or, or something slightly different, you could even space the marbles out in this general direction, because of course the asteroid belt is not really one single line. But it's worth noting that that is the demarcation between the inner planets and the outer planets. So we have Jupiter, we have Saturn, and then uh, finally we have Uranus at a whopping 287 inches away from the sun, and we have Neptune at 450 inches away from the sun. So I'm going to mark these now. So we'll place them here. Uranus. <laughs> Little one. And Neptune. So now when we, when we stop and look at the spacing, we now have Neptune here. And the sun. Ignore Uranus moving away. That doesn't really <laughs> The sun, all the way here. So it's easy. It's easy then for your students to get a sense of the space. And this is just our solar system, a tiny little part. There's an excellent video on uh, YouTube that I would recommend if you have time. It's called The Cosmic Eye. Uh, it shows, uh, it shows, begins with a, with a picture of a woman in San Francisco Bay. She's laying on the ground. 
and from her, they, they, they move all the way out to the end of the universe. And they show the different pieces as you're moving. There's a, there's a moving scale on the bottom to give you a sense that the nearest stars are, are 10 light years uh, away. That, that kind of space and it goes all the way out and then it comes back in very quickly back to her and then it actually goes inside her body uh, through her you know um, illustrating it through her eye uh, and back down all the way down to the, the quarks and the most elementary parts uh, of the atom and then back out again and so that video just helps the students see we have this vast universe and these amazingly intricate bodies all of which was made by our God uh, it, it's a wonderful demonstration. I think the students will really uh, enjoy it. Uh, it. It's a lot of fun. This is Cycle 2, Week 8 Science.